Well, of course, on the hottest day of the year, at 12 o'clock noon, my air conditioner stopped cooling. It seemed like everything was normal, it just wasn't blowing cold air. So I went outside and noticed my heat pump wasn't working, the fan wasn't going. So I watched a few YouTube videos over the years and got a really good hunch that my capacitor went out. So here's the model number of my air conditioning unit and the capacitor is right behind this panel. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn off the power. And I have a fuse block right up here. You're going to open up the door and pull on the fuse block. Or turn off the switch if you have a switch. Set the block aside. Okay, in order to get to that capacitor, we need to remove this panel. Now you're going to take off five eight millimeter screws. There's two on the left and two on the right and one on top. Once you have them all removed, go ahead and remove the panel. Where the red arrow's at, that's your capacitor. Okay, before we start messing with the capacitor, we want to neutralize it first. Just take an insulated screwdriver, just touch each post together and it'll neutralize it. You don't want to touch this area because you'll probably get shot. The capacitor is like a battery. Once we're done with that, If you look on the right side, you'll see two screws holding this bracket. Remove the two screws. Now we can remove the capacitor. Don't unplug any plugs yet, whatever you do. Now if you look on top of the capacitor where all the wires get plugged into, if you look really close, I couldn't do it with my camera, but if, if you look really close, you'll see some letters stamped right where the arrows are at, and they'll have letters on them. What you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of paper, and you're going to write, my yellow wires are at the common, or you'll see a C stamped into it. To the left, you'll see a brown wire and it'll have the word fan stamped on it. And if you go to the blue wire, you'll see the word H-E-R-M stamped into it. You're going to write that down. So once I write that down, then I put yellow, brown, and blue. So yellow goes to the C or common, brown goes to the fan, and blue goes to the H-E-R-M. Once you have that done, now you know where all the wires go. With an insulated pair of pliers, unplug the wires. Well, I was pretty lucky. I found mine at a local hardware store. Here's the front of the box, and here's the top of the box in case you need a model number or serial number. The thing I need to make sure is that I have a 35.5. So make sure when you're ordering your part or getting it from the hardware guy that you have the same exact part. Paid 26 bucks for mine. All right, let's get this thing wired up. Okay, I'm going to look for the stamp on my capacitor and I'm going to plug in the wires just like the way I wrote it down. Now we can go ahead and install our bracket. Now we can go ahead and screw in our two screws. Let's go ahead and put our panel back in.
put our screws all back in now. Looks like everything's buttoned up. Let's go ahead now and put our fuse block in. Make sure you have the fuse block pointed the right way. There's an on way to put it on and an off way to put it on. Make sure you put on the on way. It's stamped on the very top of the block, you'll see. Now let's turn on our AC and see if it works. Awesome, it's working. Wow, I saved myself a bunch of money. A neighbor down the street had his installed and it cost him 450 bucks to do just what I just showed you. I've heard about this repair over the years and I've heard on the news where they've charged people up to 750 bucks to do what I just showed you. Crazy. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and of course hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.